I want to thank everyone, our panel, for participating. Um, these issues are so, so critical, critical right now, particularly in the middle of a pandemic. And uh, I have almost everyone in my family is either, is either active duty right now, some are transitioning out, some have already transitioned. And so I know secondhand, not firsthand, um, how critically important these issues are today. So my first question is going to be for the entire panel who is with us uh, this morning. Um, briefly, in a few sentences, what is the biggest challenge that each of your organizations are facing regarding TAP? And then how can we, uh, how do you believe those issues, that issue, you know, one issue can be resolved? Uh, I'll start if, if uh, my colleagues don't mind. <laughs> I would Definitely. say the biggest the biggest issue facing DOD today, I would say, is data. Data. Um, yes, ma'am, data. We have a lot of information uh, on the, the period of time leading up to the, the time that a person actually transitions. But what we don't have today is data that talks to what happens to that service member after they transition. And I think that's very important. Uh, in our, in our uh, annual report to Congress, we talk about data and the data needs that we have. Last year in, in the 2020 edition, it was in Appendix J as well. And so um, I, I would say there are data for external organizations to help us better ascertain how we did as a service member was moving up to transition because I've heard from everybody talking earlier, you know, we do reasonably well, I think, in getting up to transition, but we really don't have the data that tells us how a service member has done afterwards. We don't, can't really tell how well did we do. And so that type of data is what's needed, I think. For example, uh, Social Security Administration, RIS, information such as that from those organizations would help. And that was more than a couple of sentences. I thank you. No, that's okay. Well, it's just a follow up while you're on that, where you're on that comment. Um, is there any effort currently today to try to collect some of that information or is there no ability to do that right now? That's a great question uh, that we need to work on. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have I'm just had curious. Some yeah. yeah, we have had some conversations, but we could certainly use the help of the committee to help move that forward for us. Yeah, that's that's great. And does anybody else on the panel uh, let, would like to comment on their largest challenge and then potentially what might be a resolution? Yes, so this is. Oh, go ahead, Cheryl. I, I was just going to echo. It's it's not only the data platforms; it's the data sharing um, for sure, and um, relationships with public private partnerships. And for us, it's about finding that sweet spot sweet spot in delivering the message so people can retain the information because we know this is a lot. Gotcha. Add to that, uh, uh, Congresswoman, is that one of the challenges that I think was spoken by there was that veterans still have to uh, figure out what they want to do when they are transitioning out. And that is a challenge even as someone when I transitioned out was still consistent today. And we know that we have a tremendous amount of resources with all of the agencies listed here, but getting those resources to meet somebody's individual needs when they are transitioning out, it will continue to be a challenge. So getting the ability to identify what they want to do when they transition out is really important because we can then identify resources that meet those specific needs. Gotcha. And then um, I also had a question for Captain Stevens. Um, Understanding that it's difficult for DOD to replicate the three month, uh, New York three month transition program, what are maybe some potential critical elements that you believe should we try to incorporate from your program into yours to help improve the transition process? Ma'am, for the question, uh, <clears throat> I believe working on the first phase of our program, which is all about purpose and the strategy of defining who you are first as a person, what makes you tick. Uh, I think that is the, the critical element that is currently missing. Our phase two of the program is all the tactical tools that complements what the, what the uh, transition assistance programs do. Um, but, I, but I really think going back to that phase one of defining purpose, what makes you think, what's gonna make you happy, and building a narrative uh, in an incredibly professional manner. Great, and Mr. Chairman, I yield my time, thank you.